my friends and hello my enemies it is a regular old tuesday and i am declaring today a self-care day i had kind of a rough week last week i've just been struggling with my mental health a little bit i'm not exactly sure why so even though filming this video has been on my calendar for a while it was actually very well timed so self-care will always look different and today for me it won't really look like quote unquote treating myself because i did plenty of watching tv and eating junk food last week Instead, what I need today and this week is just to get back to my normal routines, focus my energy on something, and feel grounded again. So even though my room isn't really done yet, as soon as we finished putting in the flooring and cleaned up all the dust, I immediately moved back in here to sleep and work because I missed it so, so, so much. These days, I don't really get dressed up that much, pretty much only when I'm filming videos, and I am filming a video today, but I think in general, it's just nice to dress up a little bit, even if you're staying at home. So I'm choosing some clothes that are comfortable, but don't look like pajamas, and even putting on some, is that jewelry? Wow, who is she? <laughs> So as I said, this video is a collaboration with Anna Luisa Jewelry and they were kind enough to send me three different pieces to try out. So I am now taking those off. I feel like I haven't been wearing earrings enough because then I got these and I got so excited about them and I just wore them so long that my ears got a little irritated with me. Okay, well at least they're not they're not bleeding. So all of these pieces that I got are so so pretty and well made and they make their gold jewelry using I can't get this off. Ugh using 100% recycled gold, so like old jewelry or industrial uses or like old electronics and things like that. And so in that way, they're not contributing anymore to the demand for newly mined gold. They also don't mark up their prices like a lot of jewelry brands, so their pieces start at $39. You can find stuff on their website that starts at $39, and then it goes up to some more higher end pieces. So the three pieces that I got, I already showed you the earrings and each one of them comes in this handy dandy little pouch. So as you can see, this pouch is a different color. This one was actually a collaboration with Michelle Choi. I love these earrings so much because they're like statement earrings, but they're not making too much of a statement, but they just like reflect the light in such a glittery way. It also just feels fun to like have them dangling off your ears and you feel them moving around a little bit when you're walking. It's the little things in life. I have no styling tips for these because I've literally been wearing them with everything. So put on an outfit, any outfit of your choice, add these earrings and bam, you've got style. So then this necklace is a very basic gold chain necklace. I wanted to get this one because you can just like layer it with other necklaces. So this one, the last piece that I got is a little bit more complicated. It has a little gold spheres along the chain and then this little like sun-shaped charm so i like to wear these together so yeah i'm not really going anywhere today but i'm gonna still wear jewelry at home because i deserve it if i can get it back on without help <sighs> For my morning routine, I usually write down three things I'm excited about for the day, but it's a self-care day, go big or go home. So I made a list of 10 things. I'm also trying out this app called Ladder that tracks your mental health. So I logged my mood and a little journal entry in there. I really just try to not rush on my morning routine, which very much runs counter to how my brain usually operates, which is on a very strict schedule. So this is good, this is a good change. For breakfast, I made one of my favorite cozy breakfasts, a warm bowl of chocolate oatmeal with dates and peanut butter. This is truly heaven. Um, I don't really measure anything when I cook this, but here's somewhat of a recipe if you wanna try and recreate this. Then I made some coffee. I don't really even drink coffee for the caffeine. I just love the taste. There's this amazing essay by The Minimalists. I know I have a problem. I literally listen to The Minimalists every single day. But they have an essay called Life is an Acquired Taste that uses coffee as a metaphor for life. And while I have not personally graduated to drinking black coffee, at least I drink it without sugar. So I'll take that for now. After breakfast, I went for a 15 minute walk to get some fresh air and sunshine. But the sunshine part didn't really work out today because it was very, very cloudy. Then I studied Korean, which is something that I genuinely really enjoy, especially on days when I'm learning new material rather than reviewing, because I get to take pretty notes and use my zebra mild liners. Yeah. 
After that, I headed down to the basement because I've been trying to switch up my work environment whenever I'm doing something like writing, which requires maximum brain power, maximum creativity. So I was working on my script for next week's video and also ordered a cake for next week's video. But that's all I'm gonna tell you for now about next week's video. After that hard work, I worked on some tasks that are a little easier for the brain. So I designed thumbnails for this YouTube channel. So I worked on that, which is something I really, really actually enjoy. I just thought this was funny. I'm so organized with my files, but then like when I have to open something up in Lightroom, it actually gets really annoying. Cause like to find these files, I had to go hard drive, video design projects, branding projects, thumbnails, July, set three, unedited. <sighs> it's a lot. After that, my stomach started grumbling very loudly, so rather than waiting until a certain point in my to-do list, it's a self-care day, so I just went and I ate. I had some kale sausage soup, and I put on this song that I absolutely cannot stop listening to. It's called Slip Away by Perfume Genius, and it's from the Booksmart soundtrack, which is a movie I watched twice this weekend. It is so good, and the soundtrack is just 11 out of 10. I usually meditate after lunch, so the Ladder app has these relaxing sounds that you can listen to. Then my dad butt dialed me for the fourth time in like 10 minutes, so I finally had to call him and tell him to... thumbnails, retouched a few senior portraits, and sorted the photos from a shoot I did recently. Then I posted on Instagram, had a smoothie that was already in the fridge. Don't you just love when food is already made? I love that. And then I sorted the dishes, made a cup of tea, and went back up to my room to read. I've been reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, which is such an interesting book, and it's crazy to think that the words of a Roman emperor written literally 2,000 years ago can still resonate with us in the 21st century. I already did like a quick read of this book, so now I'm going through it slowly and just kind of taking some notes, doing some highlights, making connections to my life. So, not gonna lie, I spent the entire second half of that hour like drifting in and out of sleep. It was very rough. This just like doesn't have a storyline at all. It's literally just like fragments and thoughts and so you really have to be in the mood to read something philosophical and you have to be well rested, which apparently I was not. But in general, I do enjoy reading more than I did just in that past hour. So, guess what I did? I started a book club. The last book club I was in was in like fourth grade, so this is a pretty big deal. I really just wanted to make like an online space where we could all talk about books, especially nonfiction books because that's pretty on brand with the Bliss Bean and also just motivate each other to keep up the habit of reading. So the Blissful Book Club, I really did not get very creative with the name. It's now open to join. We've had a bunch of people join already. I think there's like over 200 now in the group. So that's very exciting. Each month we're gonna have a different theme. So this month's theme is travel because I think we're all experiencing a little bit of that travel itch because this is normally the time when a lot of people would be traveling, but it's not safe to do that right now. So I thought it would be fun to live vicariously through some travel authors and the book you guys chose for this month on Instagram is Elsewhere by Rosita Boland. This is not an ebook, this is just a JPEG that I downloaded for demonstration purposes. So I'm hoping to post some discussion questions and polls and stuff, you know, like a proper book club should work, but also if you guys have any thoughts or want to start your own discussions, please make your own posts. I really want this to be a fun and supportive group that encourages all of us to read more and learn more, so the link to join the Facebook group is in the description. It's totally free to join and I hope to see you there. After that, I went to the gym with my dad and brother and I had signed up to try this new class, but then I got there and it turned out to be a different class and also outside in the 80 degree weather. So I just did a circuit workout on my own because I like to stay in the air conditioning. Thank you very much. We stopped by the post office on the way back and I had never seen this before, but I had a key in my PO box leading me to a bigger PO box. It was like a treasure hunt. Normally I don't open the mail right away. I'll leave it for the end of the day or the end of the week as a little reward. But if there's any time to indulge in a little instant gratification, it is on a self care day. So I read them in the car and they absolutely made my day. So thank you so much to the people who sent me these beautiful letters. 
After that, I attempted to go outside with my brother to shoot some photos and videos for this video, but the mosquitoes were absolutely brutal, so that ended as quickly as it started. I came back the next morning at like 7 a.m. to try on my own, and that worked pretty well. I had like a solid 45 minutes before the mosquitoes caught on to me and started attacking me again. I was super tired when we came inside, so I just chilled with my family for a bit, cleaned up my room, and started getting ready for bed. I know I share a lot of advice on how to be more productive and effective, but it's also important to balance efficiency and productivity with slowing down and self-care because too much of either thing can throw us out of balance. And it's also important to remember that self-care doesn't necessarily mean vegging out in front of the TV. I mean, if that's what you feel like doing, that's awesome. Sometimes I find that really helpful. Other times, like today, I need to go to the gym, for example, because even though it takes some motivation to get myself there, it ultimately boosts my mood so much or taking photos like that was a little bit of work and I got extremely sweaty and got even more mosquito bites I nearly melted but it's also really fulfilling and meaningful to create something and that's a different way that I can recharge my batteries so I hope this video inspired you to take a similar day for yourself if you guys want to check out Ana Luisa and find some pieces to gift yourself or a loved one I have a 10% discount code for you and you could just use the link in my description to check out the really beautiful pieces that they have there please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel I'll see you next week with a new video and some cake and thank you so much for watching bye